ever wanted to know what to expect for Knott's Peanuts celebration? Well, this video has got your back. We're gonna definitely showcase to you guys different locations and different spots to definitely maximize your trip. And also, let's not forget some park updates. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's definitely head on in to Knott's Berry Farm and let's have some celebration fun. Let's go. Alright, so at the entrance now, there is two different spots missing because they're over here at Camp Snoopy. The kissy scene right there with Snoopy. And also, look at that. That one right there where you actually turn the camera. So, there is new spots for some photos. Alright, so this right here is one of my favorite, favorite plaques. Don't remove this plaque when you actually do the reimagining of Knott's Camp Snoopy, guys. Please, this is amazing. Over here at the Lively Stables, they're going to have pig pens, pig pen. <laughs> it is so cool. You definitely see the animals on the right side. Right in the very back left part, you're gonna definitely take some fun pictures with pig pen. One place you can bring your kids to get challenged by the cowboys of the Peanuts gang, which is Schroeder and Linus, is right over at the Calico Town Square, which they're gonna have the cowboy jamboree. It actually is pretty cool. They have Sparky's Ranch being built up there. Now, if you don't know who actually the name Sparky actually is, it was a nickname of Charles M. Schultz. Another thing actually we stopped by is a big, big miss by Knott's Berry Farm, which is right over at Fiesta Village. I wish they would bring back <laughs> Spike's Silent Disco. Now the reason for that, it was so much fun when I was here to about two years ago, just having so much fun, dude. And you don't need to have the music blasting like crazy. It's blasting up in your ears and just you're just having so much fun with your family, with your friends, or even a solo trip as well. Again, a big giant miss from Knott's Berry Farm. All right, the stage is set. Here at Calico Mine Stage, they are running two different events. One of them being, it's your life Charlotte Brown. That's right guys, special guests, musics, dancing, every bit of it. Come on out and scope this out today, dude. It is so cool. Uh, actually, you may even find the world famous Beagle. That's right, Snoopy might make his way through here. Actually, it's pretty cool if you get a perfect spot here. Just enjoy it. He gets to actually guess who the next guest actually is, but when the lights do go out, man, it is so cool. This is Snoopy's legendary rooftop concert. That's right, it includes Jelly of the Month Club. You can actually see all of the Peanuts gang. Come on out and just rock it out, dude. This is one truly not to miss. Definitely go on the Knott's app and find out the schedule as well, too. Or follow the Jelly of the Month Club because they did actually release their dates that they're going to be here. Well, look who we got here, Snoopy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It is so great. That's right, look at your outfit. It is, man, I can't wait to see what you're gonna bring for peanut celebration. Oh, wow. But you know what, Snoopy, you are in your element right now with that fancy little outfit right there. <laughs> Last year for Peanuts Celebration, they actually had astronaut Snoopy here to definitely talk about the importance between NASA and uh, Charles M. Schultz of the Peanuts uh, gang. Here at Town Hall is Franklin. That's right, Franklin is gonna be showcased right over here, not only for a quick little photo op, but his importance to history, his importance to the pop culture, dude. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for Franklin. Okay, so here at Charleston Circle, they are gonna have the Peanuts on the go. Now, the last time I was actually here, about two years ago, they actually rode through with Model T Fords, but I think at the most part, I don't know if they're gonna be riding through Model T Fords or gonna be uh, walking through. That is one thing that is so incredible, is that they, they dance to the Charleston, and man, the kids go out there, they love dancing with, you know, with their favorite character, their favorite Peanuts character, uh, but it's actually pretty amazing. If you guys haven't and you guys wanna just Break away, go on out and scope it out, dude. That is one truly not to miss. Well, look who we got here, guys. It's Mr. Boysen. That's right, you. Oh my gosh, it is so great, man. Okay, we are so gonna miss you. Man, I know you're gonna go on vacation. I hope you come back with some amazing boysenberry ideas. But yes, once the Peanuts gang goes away, Mr. Boysen will return. <laughs> Oh, well, we love you, Mr. Boysen. <laughs> All right, so I couldn't find any pictures, but right over here, that right where the Timber Mountain Log, right, we can definitely get a perfect picture, is they actually have the 
fast lane terminals are going to be opening up so in my opinion in general with the Knott's Berry Farm app uh, with a new one where it actually gives you the QR code, I think at the most part, that's going to be your primary. But we're not sure how this is going to be set up just about yet. Do you ever want to think about paying for a theme park for only 20 bucks? That's right, dude. For a limited time, they actually have tickets for $59.99. That's right, guys. $59.99 for a bundle. Now, this is one of the best bundles I have ever ever seen at any theme park not only do you get an admission to Knott's Berry Farm you definitely can actually experience the peanut celebration but also you get an all-day dining for each ticket you don't have a pass here and you definitely want to experience the peanut celebration and, and then also get an all-day dining you pay $59.99 and you can definitely do all that and eat as much as you possibly can all day okay now the one thing I actually mentioned I'll, I think I mentioned this last year as well too this year I know the entertainment it's minimal, but I think at the most part, if they were able to actually have more entertainment, I think the one entertainment they should be having is at the Walter Knott Theater. Now, I know they utilize that town square for fun pictures as well. It'll be really amazing because the Peanuts uh, gang, the Peanuts celebration, it would be so iconic for the Walter Knott Theater to have a little bit, like a little bit glimpse of history, like, you know, the Snoopy on ice. They should do something like that for the Peanuts celebration and celebrates the history of Charles M. Schultz. So we definitely stopped by the stagecoach. Now, we definitely saw the updates that are happening throughout the park. We definitely saw the updates regarding the Calico Railroad. Now, a piece of the railroad is actually being pretty much taken out. They're starting to rebuild that. I definitely saw the newish railroads, you know, inside that building itself but yeah it's still down right now here at camp snoopy there is a lot of construction happening still definitely saw the ferris wheel slowly but surely being taken down we definitely saw oh my gosh i can barely see the huff and puff right there they're starting to do that construction with the with the trucking company for the rally cars we can definitely see the roller coaster being uh, constructed all of the cats all the bulldozers are starting to be taken uh, in effect there nothing's happening at grizzly creek lodge just about yet but slowly but surely guys is man it's so weird that they actually started the construction during peanut celebration <laughs> man now we do hope next year uh when they actually reimagined camp snoopy it's gonna look iconic dude this is gonna be one of the prime spots to bring your family, dude. One funny thing is we definitely saw one of the trucks. That, so the trucks are gone, but yeah, we saw one standalone right there. That was pretty cool. So it's hard to give you some updates regarding Montezuma's Revenge. It is still gonna be down for quite some time. And I mean, a long time. Back right there, they have the Grand Sierra Railroad rail system right there. But if you guys are looking for any Montezuma's Revenge updates, unfortunately right now, I doubt that ride's gonna be in operation at all anytime soon. Now they are hoping that it's gonna be back in operation in 2024, but the way it's looking at right now, we're looking at 2025. Gather up your team, guys. That's right, over at the Birdcage Theater, they are having the Charlie Brown Trivia Challenge. Do you guys have what it takes to be a trivia master? Definitely going out and scope that one out, as well as the Sketch School, where you can actually draw and sketch your favorite Peanuts character. There you go, just like Lucy, Linus, you have Peppermint Patty, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Franklin, uh, and the whole entire gang. Every single show it actually changes the character, so you can be here all day and, and actually draw each of the characters. Check this out. This is actually a pretty cool jacket. It's only, what, wow, $124. Now, it's called a park map reversible because of this. Look at this. You, have, you actually get this amazing jacket right here. Nice, look at that, Knott's Berry Farm. Not only with that, the reason why this is actually is pretty cool for that price is because of this right here, dude. Check this out, dude. Welcome to Knott's Berry Farm. This jacket is so incredible, man. You get an entire old school map into one jacket, dude. I think I really do want to purchase a jacket like this. This is absolutely incredible. Nostalgia right here. Yup, look at that, see? They actually have the old school Fiesta Village where they actually had an animal farm. Look at the Court of Flags Arcade there. You get the merry-go-round, the Tijuana Taxis, the uh, La Cocina Anita. Look at, you even get, look at that. Yes, that's right, guys. Look at that. Wow. That is some old school right there. Wow.
last thing on the agenda is talking about the food options. There's going to be so many different types of food options that you can definitely purchase. And also if you have the dining plan, whether it's the all day dining or the all season dining, they do have options for the dining plan and man, they do have a pancake that has mac and cheese on top. <laughs> but you betcha I'm definitely going to be either getting the all day dining or I'm utilizing my all season dining to definitely try as much food as we possibly can to definitely help you guys out on your next trip as well. If you guys thoroughly enjoyed this, what to expect for Knott's Berry Farms Peanuts Celebration 2024, make sure you guys do give this video an awesome thumbs up. If you guys cannot wait for Camp Snoopy, make sure you guys do Give, it, give this video an awesome thumbs up. And also, if you love my theme park content, whether it's theme parks, conventions, and haunts, make sure right now you guys are subscribed. And now we are onward to the next fun adventure. See you guys later.